and uh, there is a look at Neil Roberts. You can see the Algerian flag on his uh, cart. So his uh, dad's English, his mum's Algerian. He's uh, been in touch with the Algerian Motorsport Association, who are taking a great interest in this young man, as well they should. And he is there on the inside of row one. So pole position, I think, for Neil Robinson. But uh, there's a look at the grid. So mini exit. And again, so we've had. So Leo Robinson in, in the last race, Anthony, you saw him get. He, he led from the start. Yep. Vinnie Phillips got past him. He didn't defend against his teammate. And then the second half of the race, Vinnie just didn't give him an opportunity to come back at him. Mm. This is the final now. It's a much longer race. But if Robinson does get in front, he is going to have to keep that door firmly closed on Phillips because at the moment, Vinnie Phillips is waltz, waltzing away with the Mini X30 champ. Here we go. Here's a rundown. The full starting lineup for the Mini X30 final. Leo Robinson and Vinnie Phillips on row number one. Ethan Simmons and, tip to the stars, Gabriel Stilp on row two. Jack Hobson and Ryan Eschberg on row number three. See how this race goes. 15 minutes. Race number 14 on your programme. Lights are out. We're off and racing. It's a good start from Neil Robinson. Here comes David Ostel. He almost spotted that gap early, Anthony. But then the door gets closed. He loses a couple of places. But Ethan Simmons up into P2. Leo Robinson leads. Championship leader Vinnie Phillips down to third as they come through the complex on lap number one. A very clean start then from the entirety of the grid. A good look over the shoulder there from the GP plate of Ethan Simmons as they dive down in towards turn four as the rest of the field follows. Again, no real side-by-side -side action that we've seen on this first lap. Everyone keeping it nice and tame, nice and clean, which is what we like to see as they exit turn number five, enter the complex section of the, uh, the hangar bend. Yeah, and so Ethan Simmons, he, was, he, he went off, you know, he went off well in the second heat but then had a, an issue halfway around the first lap but I mean he was on that start like a tramp on chips was Ethan Simmons uh, he's up the second here comes Gabriel Stop now recovering he passes Ella Stevens for fourth place already the top three are clear but now Vinnie Phillips he looks to the inside of Simmons and there he gets them where well, he gets one of the two obstacles in front of him out of the way early can Simmons fight back Robinson was going to try and make hay while the sun shine there while Phillips wasn't directly behind him. Robinson was going to try and pull away. Now Phillips is there in P2. And I, I just from my, I mean, you know, I'm just a commentator. I'm just here to try and talk about it. But if I was Leo Robinson now, I would think to myself, I don't care if there's 40 to 13 and a half minutes to go. I am going to have to defend. Mr. Phillips, thou shalt not pass. Yes, good reference as they uh, head through then. The final corner, dog's leg, a very tricky, fast chicane. Again, watching those curbs. We've seen some of the drivers hitting them, but not these. they staying very well clear, as we can see. Still under pressure from Stevens as they go through, but eyes on the top three. And then this next big group of carts all filtering through the complex. Onto the mini straight then into the braking zone of turn number four. Robinson still leading from Phillips. And of course, the, 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 more, that, the more that Robinson sort of like sort of half defends and sort of keeps yeah. the pace a little bit slower than he could, that means that Ethan Simmons isn't going to get dropped. Ethan Simmons is going to still be there and he could then interject himself into proceedings because if uh, Robinson and Phillips go, then Simmons, uh, to be fair to him, he's been quick at the start, but over a race distance, Ethan hasn't been able to match the two fusion drivers the pace over the course of a full race and this is an even longer race 15 minutes plus a lap you were very uh, astute in your observations in the last one Anthony when you're saying that Oliver Greenall uh, was he set the pressures lower which means he was under pressure at the start of the race but he knew the tires would come on as the race progressed and uh, he confirmed that in it when he spoke to you I wonder if uh, it's the same difference in tire pressure between the two fusion drivers still now trying to pull away from Ella Stevens Jack Hobson is the second of those uh, sort of grey white and red Mad Crop chassis in fifth position. So I make that. Yeah, fifth position. Eschberg is next. Swain, Eldridge, Rippin, Wed, Bird, and Allen. That's the remaining runners. And the top three have got that gap. Gabriel still has got to get his head down. And you saw there, Leo Robinson was a little bit tighter coming into dog leg, which means he's a little bit defensive. He is uh, under pressure now from Vinny Phillips. But uh, already you've, see you've seen Leo Robinson being a little bit more defensive and uh, there again into the complex just h hugging the middle of the circuit now Phillips is going to get a good crossover run but I think we're going to see uh, Robinson just hug move to the inside a little bit going into turn number four so Phillips yeah, there is an earlier turn in for Robinson 
shots that Phillips can't think about making a lunge. And that is keeping Ethan Simmons within striking distance. Despite the fact that he is turning in a little bit earlier through some of these corners, he did see Leo Robinson fastest lap of the race still, though. So despite those little minor adjustments that we're seeing going into some of these corners, it's still working. It's still getting those quick times in, still keeping that pace up. As you can see there, dipping his head, just trying to get that momentum. And, you know, not that uh, head uh, yeah. punch forward. Would, uh, <laughs> there we go, <laughs> bobbing the head forward. Bobbing the head down, so they want to try and get the helmet behind the NASA panel. Yeah. Just to get that little bit of airflow. You can see they've got the new style NASA panels on these carts, which has got sort of like a drain pipe sort of shape up the middle behind the number. So the air goes up there, and if they duck down, the air then goes off the top of their crash helmet. It might give them a thousandth of a second, but hey, it's every thousandth counts. Yes. Every little helmet. Yeah, that's, uh, -ching. That, was a, that was a TV commercial, wasn't it? <laughs> it was, it still is. Back in the day, is it? Oh, yeah, it still is. Uh, ten minutes then on the clock, then five minutes have gone down. And uh, we take your mind off food shopping yes. for a brief moment, Henry. Well, uh, we'll concentrate on the race. Yeah, you want lunch. <laughs> I, do. <laughs> so, I don't need lunch. Here we go. So, Vinnie Phillips now in Robinson Slipstream. Simmons is there as well. Can Phillips slide out underneath braking going into turn one? No, he cannot. Still, still there in fourth place. Hobson has passed Stevens for fifth. And again, Robinson, you can see him just slide into the inside of the track there. Less than 10 minutes to go. Phillips, though, fast lap of the race. 48.74 seconds. He is going to literally be sat on the rear bump of the race leader before too long. And uh, there's nothing that uh, still in cart 10, Eldred, uh, Hobson in cart 14, and Stevens in cart 28 can do to catch them. There's Ashberg in the, 20, in the 73, followed by Swain in the 92 and Eldridge in the 41. Yep, I, uh, my tooth panel still is well placed. I oh. suspect there's plenty of time. Nine minutes left on the clock. A lot of time to go. A lot of time in a karting race. That's a year. That's yes. a century. Uh, oh, right change the lead. Phillips made it stick, coming down the start, finish straight. Robinson coming back at, back, in, back at him. Phillips had made the move stick before he got to the apex of turn number one, which means that I think that Robinson may have clipped that curb coming off the final corner and uh, unsettled the cart. Phillips was able to go through and get the move done before turn number one. So here we go. Now, this is what Robinson, this is what Robinson couldn't do in the previous race. It's what he's got to do now, and that is fight back. Yeah, definitely. So, oh! oh, and a spin in the background there. That was Ryan That's and Eschberg. 73, yep. Ryan and Eschberg there. Disaster in the final. And, uh, yeah, a huge shame for the young driver now. Uh, looks like he's okay. Back on to the top three. And, like we say, Phillips now leading from Robson. Or Robinson. Yeah. Robinson refusing to be squashed in this one. Yes. Oh dear. Sorry. Oh dear. <laughs> it's a very good one, though. I'll give you that. Uh, Simmons, though, holding on in that GP plate in third place, not falling back at all. Now, there's still a little bit of fresh air trying to pull away in terms of lap times. Fraction off the pace of what the top three are doing, but only a fraction. Yeah, but he just did his personal best lap of the race, as Gabriel still at 48.86. So his cart is the best it's been all race but it's only a fraction quicker than the three leaders. Now, can Robinson fight back? It's the 87 of Phillips with the predominantly white crash helmet with orange flex on it. Uh, Robinson behind him with the predominantly orange crash helmet. Can he look to the inside? No. Simmons is right there as well. Yeah, it was, you could see that Phillips hit the curb on the exit of the final corner and he thought like you say that looked like it was going to be a lunge down the inside of turn one mm. we didn't see it though and is that because simmons is right there in third place and these two are trying to pull away and they just can't well i mean if if, if robinson had gone for a move to the inside going into turn number one and got alongside phillips then simmons is so close he could have squeezed phillips a little bit out wide and phillips yep. might have lost two places but uh, it's it's you know it's so so close between of course identical chassis they're both on an Xperia chassis they're all on the army x30 engines but i mean they run for the same team so they've got data sharing which means that they're going to be the carts to be very very similar now we look to the inside no phillips isn't defending he takes a very wide entrance to the first turn and a wide exit as well and still robinson's not able to duck out from the slipstream but he's oh they almost He's almost in the cart with him, coming out of uh, the complex there. And Simmons watching. Six and a half minutes to go. We're on lap number 11. This race, we've got a lot of life left in it. And Gabriel Stelp was 2.7 seconds behind the lead. He's now 2.6. He's 
inching, inching up is Gabriel in the number 10 cart, but he is going to need the top three to start battling to close that gap fully. Uh, behind still, it's Hobson fourth, uh, Hobson fifth rather, Stephen sixth, Webb seventh, El Eldridge eighth, Swain ninth, Bird tenth, Rippet eleventh, Allen twelfth, Ashberg thirteenth. All thirteen drivers still running. Here's a look at Hayden Eldridge coming through the uh, dog leg, just in front of the number 92 of Wes Swain, eighth and ninth. But uh, up front, Phillips just a fraction, just a fraction in front of his teammate Robinson, less than a tenth as things stand. Five and a half minutes to go. Things still bubbling up nicely. Yes, indeed. 11 laps completed for Vinnie Phillips and the rest of the field. We're on lap 12. We head through, like say, five and a half minutes left on the clock. Still very close between our top three. And at three tenths of a second, as they just zoom into shot there, they're going around the final corner, back onto the start finish straight to complete lap 12. 13 now underway as uh, they're still nose to tail no real moves going on yet and I suspect again it's just they're just waiting for those last laps to come in we saw it earlier on in the day where it wasn't going to happen on the last lap it happened on the lap before he got past the second place then tried to get past first place but it, it failed so hopefully we're going to see it in this time around but like I say those top three still nose to tail and all eyes watching yeah, so uh, out of turn number five, now through the corridor, down towards turn six, Vinnie Phillips, that's bad news for everybody else. Good news for Vinnie Phillips, he sets the fastest lap of the race, but still Robinson going with him. There's a little bit of daylight appearing now between Robinson in second and Simmons in third. Simmons is going to try and hang on to the slipstream here. Uh, let's have a look. Still no move from Robinson going into pit bend. No, they have stayed nose to tail there, haven't they? It's... Uh... I, I'm amazed at how well Phillips is doing, despite the fact that he looks like he's got quite a clear visor on, and this sunlight is very bright and in the eyes yeah, in some know, of these tight, it, twisty sections. Yeah, so in the end, it's getting towards the end of September now, where even though it's only, what, half, uh, four o'clock in the afternoon, the sun is beginning to sort of get a little lower in the sky, and as you, if you can, from the camera, if you can see directly in through the driver's clear visor, that means the sun is shining directly into their faces. And uh, oh, now Phillips a little bit wide through Hangar Bend. That's the first missed apex we've seen from Vinnie Phillips. Robinson is there. Can he get a good run out of this corner here? But no, again, Phillips really good on egg corner exit. Here comes Robinson, though. He's now in the slipstream. No, he can't make the move into turn number one this time. Looked like a little bit of front to rear contact between the two fusion drivers as well. He could just see under braking, he saw Phillips' head go backwards like it was uh, accelerated again from a, a little tap from Robinson. Just, uh, yeah. and not enough to get past, but enough to definitely push him a little bit wide of the exit of turn one. A look over the shoulder from Vinnie Phillips just to see where he is. And again, a defensive line in turn number five. That's the first time I've seen Vinnie Phillips defend. And that was he was he held the middle line of the track. He didn't swing out wide to go into turn number five. He held the middle. So Robinson, this is going to be a well, it's going to be a decent lap from Robinson. He's not a great lap from Phillips. And I'm looking at the sector times. And yeah, no, Vinnie Phillips not pulling in particularly impressive sectors on this lap. But a bit wide to the middle. But again, now another check over the shoulder. Are we going to see it this time from Robinson? Are we so close? Not yet. No, he's still not looking for that. He's, he's looking at the time. It's still two and a half minutes left on that timer. Still waiting for that gap, but it's slightly defensive there. Goes Phillips. Robinson tries to get the switchback move there. Ethan Simmons uh, with the fastest lap of the race. The GP plate in third place behind. Closing that gap now. That daylight has soon turned tonight. So there's no gap between those two now as they head out of turn number five through six into the corridor. Again, no moves down the inside. We've not seen any moves here, apart from the two potential ones that we may have seen uh, missed earlier on. But two minutes left on the timer into the final corner now. Again, everyone just looking like nose to tail. Yeah, and Vinnie Phillips, every single time, it looks as though, I mean, it might just be his particular line, but he, coming through dogleg, the middle part of that, of that complex, it always looked like he's, he's a little bit wider than Robinson. And now Robinson looks at the inside. No, that's the most. That was a half a glance. It was. That wasn't. A, it wasn't a full look. It was a preliminary investigation. I think that was. <laughs> but it, we saw that now on the, the, the last lap, Simmons closed right back up, and he's going to stay there now because uh, Phillips is sort of not driving full defensive mode, but he is semi-defending. He is indeed, and uh, with 90 seconds left on the timer, or less than 90 seconds, 
it's nearing the end of this final for the Mini X30. And you can just see Simmons there ducking his head in, just trying everything he can to get through. And as you say there, Phillips again slightly wide at the second part of the chicane to go into turn one. Okay, no move. Here's a look further back as well. This is Stilt and Hobson as they head through turn number one, the two crop promotion drivers. As they're going through, working together again, trying yep. to close up, but I just don't think there's enough time. All eyes are going to be focused on these front, uh, front three as they head through. 17 laps completed. We're on lap 18, and the last lap board is probably not going to come out this time. No, we're getting closer. And I've got to say that I know we're focusing on the top three, but still is fourth. I mean, outstanding performance so far from number 14, uh, Jack Hobson. This is, I mean, obviously he's right with his teammate. Uh, all the way through. It's the first time this season that I've really seen Jack Hobson sort of match Gabriel still pace for pace. And uh, up at the front, top three go through. There is uh, still in fourth and Hobson in fifth. Hobson following his teammate. Great job there. Oh, and there was the, a, a real defensive move there from Philip. Robinson had a half glance. So if, the, if that was a preliminary investigation, he certainly knocked the door twice there just to say, I'm, uh, I'm there and I'm going to be coming through shortly if you'll let me. And uh, Simmons is right there in third place. But so for the first time, the clock strikes zero. Now Phillips defends, and it's full-on defensive mode now. White Line City for Vinnie Phillips going into turn number five. Simmons is going to get a good run. A little bit of bumping and boring going out there as they sort of trip over each other under braking. But uh, Robinson is uh, stating his claim with a, a certain degree of conviction now. Yep, and this is, well, again, you've seen it there. There was a little bit of squabbling between Phillips and Roberts first time. Uh, then that caused, uh, that caused Simmons to then close up. And now Simmons and Robinson are starting to squabble. And that's allowing Phillips to break away again. Phillips goes defensive. Simmons, uh, Simmons taking the optimal line again as well behind Philip uh, Robinson as they go through. And again, just all eyes on these three. It's just hard to tell who's going to come out on top on this one. It is final lap, though. Yep, into a mini straight, into turn number four. And Phillips has got a gap there, so he's safe through turn number four. Robinson is going to have to do something pretty special now. Phillips again defends into turn number five. That's not going to be a great exit speed for Robinson. In fact, I think that might have given Vinny Phillips the gap he needs to take the victory through the corridor. Phillips has got a five, six cart length, no, three or four cart length lead. And Robinson there runs a little bit wider. Simeons, uh, Ethian Simmons makes his move. Under breaking for Hanger. Great, that's the first really clean move we've seen at that corner. But Vinny Phillips comes out to the final turn. Four wins, four races for Vinny Phillips. Ethan Simmons takes second, Leo Robinson third, but Anthony, he had a real go at the end of that one. Uh, did Leo Robinson, he, he gave Vinny Phillips all he could handle, but Vinny Phillips, as he's done all season, had all the answers. He did indeed. Well, I'm going to take this headset off and I'm going to run oh, down yes, and yes. chat to our winning drivers, so uh, I'll leave the commentary box with your capable hands. Well, well, that's a dangerous thing to do, so while Anthony goes down to... Uh, get himself ready to speak to the victorious Vinnie Phillips. It gives me a chance to run through the full list of results from the mini provisional results from the Mini X30 final. And it was Vinnie Phillips winning by four tenths of a second over Ethan Simmons. Leo Robinson takes third place. Gabriel Stilt finishes fourth. Jack Hobson, great result for Jack in fifth. Ella Stevens takes home sixth position. Charlie Webb in seventh. Wes Swain in eighth. Hayden Eldridge in ninth. And Lewis Bird completing the top ten. Joseph Rippin, Ryland Eschberg and Freddie Allen are your remaining finishers. And there, into scrutineering go the number 86 cart of Vinnie Phillips. And uh, behind Leo Robinson. And uh, so Ethan Simmons, that's his best result of the season uh, for the, uh, the British Championship for the GP plate holder. As there is uh, Vinnie Phillips, a big kind of face. Oh, he looks worn out of that one. He's so he can't shake hands. He, that's the instinct of every driver. They give his mechanic a high five, but uh, you know, sadly, sadly, rules don't allow it. But uh, you know, Vinny Phillips, he was normally you see a big, big grin from Vinny at the end of a race. But I think the fact that he didn't means the fact that he worked very, very hard in that one. He's probably a little bit tuckered out at the moment. So uh, an excellent fall, and of course that there, the corner you're looking at there, uh, that's where Simmons sort of eased Leo Robinson a little bit wide in the final lap and he took second position and uh, so Robinson well you know in the second he, he finished second but didn't try and pass well he didn't even try and pass he didn't sort of 
have a go, have a real go at the race leader. Then he finished third, but he really did. He, he asked a lot of questions from Vinnie Phillips and made a couple of really concerted efforts, but it just wasn't meant to be um, this time. I do want to have a quick chat, though, with Leo Robinson, because it was uh, the best attempt that we saw from him, uh, an overtake on Vinnie. Uh, Leo, again, a very close race. You were leading for most of it at the start, and, of course, at the end there, you really tried your best to get past Vinnie. Uh, just talk us through your mindset at the end of that one. Uh, yeah. Well, at, at the end, when Vinnie got past, it was really annoying because I did, I did, we didn't really have the bottom, so it was quite hard to catch off the bottom. Yeah, and I say, with that, we, we saw in the previous race, it was saying tyre pressures were a key factor with the Fusion team. We, have you done anything different with the tyre pressures going into this final? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> You don't think so? Well, you need to ask your mechanic, don't you? You need to see. He's, he's there working on the car. So, yeah, no, but a fantastic win. Uh, so, you know, second place in that one. Uh, fantastic ever from you. Yeah. Spot on. Cheers.